Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for joining us. This time, the presidential brokies will be making a horror movie slasher tier list. Comment what video idea you want to see next. The rankings go from S tier to trash tier, with S tier being the highest and trash tier being the lowest. No shit. Quiet. Give that like and subscribe button a bump for me and click the bell notification if you are subscribed because not too many subscribers actually get notified of our videos. All right, team, let's dive into Michael Myers. Thoughts? Michael Myers, is that the guy from Austin Powers? No, Donnie, you old ass motherfucker. Oh, no, no, right. This guy, Mike, doesn't scare me. He looks like Kiss. Kiss doesn't scare you? And he's got the fashion sense of a mechanic. What's with the jumpsuit, Mike? Yeah, but you've got to admit his dedication to walking everywhere is impressive. The guy's got stamina. True, he's the ultimate lurker. Peeking around corners should be an Olympic sport for him. Michael Myers gets a B tier, relentless, but could use a wardrobe update. He's not scaring anyone anymore with that $2 wish mask. Next up, Freddy Krueger. Ah, uh, Freddy, the man of my dreams, literally. That's funny, Trump didn't know you was gay. That joke flew right over your head, Obama. Only guy I know who can make a striped sweater look terrifying. And those claws, he must be a nightmare at manicures. Yeah, but his pun game is strong. A comedian and a slasher talent. I do love a good pun. Grow up. Freddy scores an A tier. Terrifyingly funny with a questionable fashion choice. Now, Pennywise the Clown. Pennywise makes me rethink every birthday party I've ever been to. Right? Who knew balloons could be so menacing? And that dance, a viral sensation for all the wrong reasons. His dental plan is definitely lacking, though, those teeth. Never been one for clowns. Pennywise gets an A tier for me, creepy with a side of dance moves. How about the nun? The nun took my fear of detention to a whole new level. Yeah, she's like the hall monitor from hell. Her staring game is top notch. First place in the creepy stare Olympics. Makes me want to carry holy water instead of pepper spray. You have a secret security detail. Why do you have pepper spray? Because they'll never expect a guy so dumb. The nun scores a C tier for being a virgin. Not very terrifying. Holy terror with a petrifying gaze. Let's tackle Jason Voorhees. Jason makes me never want to go camping, like ever. He's got that silent but deadly vibe, literally. And the mask, ultimate COVID fashion before it was a thing. His relationship with water is complicated, though. Just like your relationship with children. What? No, it's quite simple. I love them. Jason gets an A. Tear silent but deadly with a questionable choice of vacation spots. Next, Leatherface. Leatherface brings home decor to a whole new level, not in a good way. The guy's a walking health code violation. And talk about family issues. Makes yours seem normal. His choice of mass is creative. Let's just say I'm not a fan. Leatherface scores a C, tier. He needs a lesson in hygiene and interior decorating. Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal makes me think twice about accepting dinner invitations. He's got that creepy intellectual vibe, like I'm smart, but I might eat you. Definitely wins the award for most likely to ruin appetites. His taste in wine is impeccable, though. Pity about the food pairing. His character reminds me of Joe a little bit. Not sure what it is. Probably the age thing. Well I'm not that old, I'm only 81 years of age. 81 years, young mate. Hannibal gets a trash tier, sophisticated, but with a questionable diet. And he's not even really a slasher, he's just really creepy. Jack Torrance. Jack's the reason I avoid winter vacation. Talk about cabin fever, the guy takes it to a whole new level. And his typing skills, all work and no play. Makes you appreciate a good door lock, doesn't it? Jack scores a B tier, a chilling reminder to take a break. Lastly, the Babadook. The Babadook made me donate all my pop-up books. He's like the boogeyman with a better PR agent. And that outfit, Fashionably dark or just thrift shop gone wrong. At least he's living proof that hats are making a comeback. The Babadook gets an S tier, stylishly terrifying with a penchant for drama. This was a great debate amongst the three presidential brokies and we thank you all for watching. Hit that bell notification so you can see when we drop new videos and consider joining the group membership so that you can vote on polls and what direction the channel will go in. Also, if you didn't know, we are real estate agents in New Jersey and New York states. That's why we're so broke. We work on 100% commission. But our contact info is in the description as well in case someone wants to work with some real deal closers. Another thing, we also have a full tutorial for people who want to make faceless AI videos and the link to access that knowledge is in the description. The power is in the people. Have a great night.